My fiance is telling us a scary story. Off script. Wow. Stephanie sued this. Okay. Two hours ago, I accidentally killed my boyfriend. You tell a lot of stupid story that doesn't make sense too. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and today we are back with another dun 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 mukbang. It's like the last couple of days before Halloween, and I bought a new bra, and I'm getting indigestion from my bra. You bought a new bra. So if I'm sounding a little bit extra burpy, that's why. Blame my new bra. But today I'm really excited because I have been seeing this restaurant all over like LA food blogs, LA Instagrams, LA everything. They said you have to eat at Tokyo Fried Chicken. And so I went and picked up some delicious chicken. So we've got this bucket of chicken. We've got their mac and cheese. We've got their fried chicken skin. I don't even think I've ever That's tried weird. their fried chicken skin. And then we also have their curry corn. I have this like yuzu ponzu sauce that you're supposed to dip the chicken in. He's got the spicy yuzu ponzu sauce. And um, I guess we're just gonna get started. And what are we talking about today? Okay, he's like so <laughs> prepped for this. My I'm not that prepped. Oh. Not that prepped. My fiance is telling us a scary story. I know this is a showdown. Yeah, but I'm really hoping that your story will just blow me away. No. You know? No. I don't think I'm the greatest storyteller in this house. Oh, just in this, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> wait, 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 I want to try something yes. really quick. Okay, okay let's so try this I chicken. I saw this really weird trend where you grab a chicken bone and then you smash it down and the chicken bones come out clean, honey. First of all, the smell of this, amazing. What's the difference? I don't know, I think it's supposed to be like with a spice with Japanese spices, like Japanese flavor, like you know how there's Korean fried chicken? Oh my God. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think, um, we gotta retire Jolly Bee. Now. Yeah, this is so good. Holy cow. Oh my god. And also? Yeah? No offense to you? Yeah? And your culture? No. This might be better. Mm hmm. Than the Korean chicken mm -hmm. I've had so far. Honestly, me too. I'm blown away right now. I have no words. This I'm hesitant about. People rave about it on Yelp. It's their fried chicken skin. I don't know how I feel about fried chicken skin, to be honest. So, um. Mm. Oh my gosh. What have I been doing? What have I been living? Interesting. Let me try some skin with their curry corn. I think this is like a cheesy corn, but with curry. Curry corn? Is that a thing? Wow. This is like equivalent to the... Cheesy corn? Korean cheesy corn. Uh-huh. It's so good. Mmm. <gasps> Do you like oh it? Oh my god, that's good. This on top of rice... Should I get some rice right now? Should I get some rice I right now? I think you're okay right now. I think I should get some rice right now. If we have leftover, you know? Wow. Let's try this mac and cheese. This is so good. That's It's weirdly crunchy, mm. but not in like an overly fried way. The inside meat is juicy. Oh my goodness. This is so good. And the spicing of the chicken skin paired with the sauce, I don't feel like I've never had that in chicken before. Mmm. Mmm. I am amazed. I am amazed. Wow. It's really... No wonder people are obsessed with this right now. I was like, listen, I've had so much fried chicken. I have a tr problem now. What? My story's kind of long. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I will save you some. Here, can I show you something really cool though? Because I think you missed it the first time I did it. Did you see this? So this is like a regular chicken wing, right? You grab the bones from the side, and then you do this. And you just grab those bones out. You want it? <laughs> it's my <laughs> gift to no, you. No. no, I know it looks nasty. But I like to bite into them. Oh, okay. 
Wow. All right, so I got a story, right? You can finish the chicken, you know? He's wow. like, so, what you doing? Wow, look at this bite. I just... Mm-hmm. Okay, so the story's kind of long, mm -hmm. but I kind of like the food, so I will shorten it up a little. Okay? <laughs> I'll speed tell you mm -hmm. what happened. It's a Chinese story, okay. first of all. So there's a lot of Chinese elements in there. So the story is told in first person. First person. Point of I believe, view. Yeah. Two hours ago, I accidentally killed my boyfriend. It took me an hour to Are you reading my far. diary? <laughs> it's like my first point I person know, point I know, of view. I know, I know, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> it took me an hour to clean the floor, but I don't know what to do with the body. The biggest container in the room is the refrigerator. So I open the bottom of the refrigerator, I pull out two drawers, and try to stuff my boyfriend in there. But unfortunately, he's kind of big. Oof. Doesn't matter how I. Oof. Stuff him. Oh. There's always um, <laughs> an extra leg. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so unfortunately, mm -hmm. I have to pull out the last drawer. I didn't want to pull out that drawer because there's a lot of seafood. Expensive seafood. Imported seafood in there. I didn't want them to be defrosted. But, you know, I have to do what I have to do. Mm -hmm. And just then, I got a text message. Why is the street in front of your house always so much traffic? It's from Y. Gosh darn it, today is our gathering day. I forgot. Y is one of my best friends. She's a social media influencer. She runs uh, three, four different blogs and three, four different boyfriends. Y is always loud. Before she arrives, her voice always arrives first. The street is not far from my house at all. There's always traffic. If she's there, that means she's about 15 minutes away. Now I can almost smell the perfume that she uses in the hallway already. <laughs> <laughs> I feel weird. Is this how you feel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> After the three drawer got pulled out, I uh, put them into my office and I close the door and pray that nobody ever opens that door because there's gonna be mm. three drawers of seafood weird. hanging in your office. Really weird. <laughs> and then finally, I fit my boyfriend in there. Now I looked around after I stuffed the boyfriend in, perfect. Everything's gone. It's like nothing ever happened here. Notice there's a spot of blood on the floor. Oh my gosh, that was so close, right? Mm -hmm. There's some blood. So I took his toothbrush, I grabbed some soap, and okay. start brushing it between the crack of um, the tiling to get rid of all the blood. And finally, everything's done. I stood up, looked around, nothing. There's no evidence of anything has ever happened here. And then I sit down on the couch and realize something, something really, really deadly. I forgot their smell, the blood smell in the room. And just when I'm panicking, trying to think of something to cover the smell, ding dong. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> the doorbell rings. Out of, the, out of the three people who's going to be here today, the only person rings doorbell is B. And he's the first one here. So before I can think of anything, I grab my perfume from the shelf and spray mm -hmm. all over the kitchen and then open the door. B walked in with a bottle of red wine. Mm. Looks like he just picked up downstairs. <laughs> He's always preparing last mm. minute, right? B saw me, smiled a little, asked me, where's your boyfriend? I said he got a phone call, so he left to answer the phone call. B walked in, sit on one side of the mahjong table. So for people who don't know, mahjong is like uh, Chinese poker. He sat down and five minutes later, X and Y both alive. I mean, not alive, arrived. <laughs> Both around. Why is still complaining how much traffic there is? And also asked me, did you spill your perfume everywhere? I was shook. <laughs> and I said, oh my God, I spilled half a bottle on the floor. Mm. Man. And Y sit down on the other side of the table. X followed by Y. He bent over, took off his shoes, put on another pair of slipper, walk mm. into another side of the mahjong table and sit down. When he passed by the kitchen, peeped mm -hmm. inside of the kitchen. Why? Nothing. He just Why? peeped. Nosy? Maybe. I know X, Y, B, all three of them from college. Even though we're friends, but I don't really like them. Y is really annoying. Such a bitch. B is really indecisive. X is really quiet, really calculated, and always makes people nervous for some reason. After all these years, these are the only three friends I got anyways. Why? Mm -hmm. You're asking me a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> and Y started asking. Hey, since uh, your boyfriend's not here, let's let's just get started, right? We got four people here, so we start playing Mahjong. Even though we've been playing a few rounds, mm -hmm. but I just couldn't focus on Mahjong because you I just, just keep thinking about some other things. Huh? Because you just killed your boyfriend? Yeah, I just killed my boyfriend. And then, why asked me, Hey, what's wrong with you? Why is your, uh, why is your hand sweating so much? When she said that, 
all three of them started looking at me. Oh God. Okay, that's like my biggest pet peeve is when people point out shit like that. It's like when you're about to cry and your hand is shaking and people are like, are you shaking? So obviously, you know, the there's sweat on the Mahjong. The, oh, the nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody's like looking at me, right? So after um, a after couple he more, eats more chicken. <laughs> after a couple more rounds, Y started asking, but you're right. Why is it so hot in here today? Ma'am, I need some Coke. I need some ice Coke right now. Without Coke, I can't even um, play. And then she just started walking to the kitchen. That better not take it with ice. Immediately, I start screaming. I have beer. I have beer. I, I was prepared. I had beer. And she said, no, ice coke. I need ice coke. And I said, I don't have ice coke. And Y said, oh, don't be so stingy. Come on now. And I saw her walk all the way to the fridge. And my heart right now is like in the boiling water. And immediately when I looked down, I saw in the corner of the fridge, there's a couple spill of blood. Oh my God. And I put my foot on it, covered the blood and frozen next to the fridge. Come on, move aside. Let me have some Coke. I haven't had Coke in three days. Just one, one, one sip is good. And I immediately goes, I really don't have it. Why is staring me down? It's almost saying like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you frozen here? Move aside. That's so weird. Mm -hmm. She's acting so weird. Like if you didn't have Coke, you wouldn't be, yeah. Yeah. And finally, Y turned around, sit down and open her app and try to order some. And just as soon as I about to sit down, Y rushed to the fridge, open it up, and she screams, Why are you lying to me? What is this then? She pulled out a bottle of Coke from the fridge. Is she gonna try to get ice? Cause he's in the freezer, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, hell no. Luckily, she only opened the top. So when she get back to the Mahjong, I already, <laughs> I already changed my slipper. And finally, after three more rounds, everybody suggests let's just take a pause cause it seems like I wasn't in the mood. And meanwhile, we moved our location to the dining table and brought out the hot pot. But I forgot to buy the hot pot sauce. You have to have dipping sauce, right? How did I forget that? Now I look at the fridge and started to think. Now we, I live on the seventh floor. If I take the elevator, go downstairs, go to the closest supermarket to mm. buy the sauce, the fastest when I get back is going to be 12 minutes. And then I look to X and Y. So I realize if I, at this rate, <laughs> if I keep telling at this pace, uh, this is gonna be like Harry Potter. <laughs> and you're gonna need to come back for eight more movies. Yeah, like eight movies combined. Yeah. So I'm gonna summarize it. Yeah. And gotta skip through some details and yeah. uh, try to. Like, I feel like there was about to be like two hours of hot pot details, and yeah. we don't need that, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So please. Continue. So basically, okay. <laughs> okay. I was kind of half reading and telling. Now I'm just gonna glide through it. <gasps> Look at you. Off script. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna freehand this. <laughs> Stephanie sue this. Okay. Ready? Okay. We're sitting there eating hot pot, right? Okay. Yeah. So um. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have dipping sauce. Everyone started saying, somebody, why was like, oh, let's just use whatever sauce we got. It's mm -hmm. fine. And then I was like, oh, thank God, because I don't want to go get my. That's going to take 12 minutes because she's yeah, like, I don't want to leave. All the way get out of the <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then just when I was relieved, X goes, mm -hmm. but we need hot pot sauce for hot pot. Okay. X, right? Yeah. So, anyways, just I was like panicking. For some reason, I see a vision, a vision of my boyfriend standing over there. And he started laughing. He's like, ha 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 ha. You're such an idiot. How do you not prepare hot pot sauce? Like, are you stupid or something? So obviously I'm like hallucinating, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm like, F what do I do now? Everybody, it's kind of awkward now. It's kind of tense. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's kind of waiting for me to say something. I don't really want to leave because, Someone's you know, who knows? Up. Something's going to happen, right? And finally, I couldn't do it. I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to run downstairs and I'm going to go buy it. And B goes, I'll go with you. And I looked over. At X and Y, they're both so focused on the movie and they didn't volunteer to go. So I look at the kitchen and I say, okay, B, let's go. Oh. So me and B went into the elevator. And inside the elevator, there's a little conversation happened, very crucial, very pertinent to the story. <laughs> so B goes, um, yeah. has he been hitting you lately? Referring to my boyfriend. I goes, well, what are you talking about? He's not hitting me. And he says, what are you talking about? I saw your uh, stories that you post. So apparently, this is where you found out that I posted mm -hmm. some stories mm -hmm. about my boyfriend has been hurting me. There's bruises, pictures of me being bruised up. There's some blood on my wrist. There's like, like you know, it looks like I had domestic violence. violence going on, right? And I even complained a little bit to him about. But for some reason, it triggered me. I start screaming, no, 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 you're crazy. And then boom, the elevator landed on the first floor. We went out there. We just rushed through the supermarket, brought the pace, went back to the elevator. 
and came home. And right before we were about to go into the house, this is when, you know, I start having these, it's weird to say I, should I say? She. She, right? Mm -hmm. She's starting to having these like really weird feeling because she feel like, you know how you about to go into something, you feel like people already knew what's going on. So you kind of expect the worst. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's expecting uh -huh. that off. They probably saw it. They mm -hmm. called the police. Why are you eating it like that? <laughs> they called the police. You know, everything's over. So when she opened the door, they're both sitting there staring at the TV. They're watching the movie. They're so focused. Looks like nothing has moved. The hot pot hasn't been touched. Nothing, nobody has walked into the um, kitchen. Nothing has happened. So I sat down, I open the sauce, and we all sit down, start eating the hot pot while looking at TV. And Y goes, oh man, how you? How have you been? It, has he been hitting you again? So it looks like everybody knew that I was abused, not I. She was abused by the boyfriend. Wait, so she posted it on her story, but she's like shook? She seems like she's embarrassed or she doesn't want to talk. She feel uncomfortable to talk about it for whatever reason. Oh, maybe reason. she posts, okay. Meanwhile, X looked at her and goes, where did he go? And then she goes, you know, he's been out. He, he was answering, answering a call and he left. Okay, I have some speculations. Can I tell you how I think the story is going to end? Because I love okay. to guess scary stories. It's like a okay. murder mystery. Yes. So the friends don't exist. She's imagining all of this after she killed her boyfriend. Trying to think of a way that her brain is trying to trick her into a reason, into why she killed her boyfriend. And so she's envisioning Mahjong with her friends. They don't exist. And then she's like, oh, I'm going to come up with this theory that my boyfriend was abusing me. Mm. So like her brain is doing some weird you're because saying, she's traumatized from killing her boyfriend. So you're saying the boyfriend yeah. never killed her. Oh, never abused her. Yeah. And then like, she's just like her brain. Maybe she had a psychotic break. I don't think she's doing it to tell the police that she was abused because like, you can't just sit there and be like, and then my friends, you know, but I think maybe her brain, she like had a little, mm -hmm. you know, she freaked out. And then when she realized what she had done, she started like convincing herself mm -hmm. that her boyfriend abused her. Oh, I have another theory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have another theory. Yeah. The boyfriend doesn't exist at all nothing's in the freezer hmm. nobody's hitting her Why? she's been doing this just to get attention so she's like posting this to get attention from her friends and like mm. she's kind of losing her marbles she's mm. kind of a crazy girl not bad and like acting nervous because then her mm. friends would be like, are you nervous? Is it because your boyfriend? It's not bad. And then they're like, where's your boyfriend? And she's like, oh, he just went out to get a call. Let's find out. Okay. 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 It's not bad. Am I right? No. Okay. So she started to, um, anyways. <laughs> Meanwhile, right? Everybody's asking about their relationship, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, X goes, what's in the bottom drawer of your fridge and she was pan she started to panicking a little she's like what right in her mind and x goes oh i went into your uh, office and i saw three drawer of your freezer drawer on the table so i was just wondering what's in the fridge you can't explain like that okay yeah and then she goes oh um yeah so my boyfriend he he, he bought something i don't know what it is it's he put something in there I i'm not sure what it is in there super suspicious right mm -hmm. and she's her heart is about to bounce out of her chest mm -hmm. right crazy i'm so into this i'm like already coming up with theories i thought maybe you were gonna say like blood was sleeping through and then she could have been like it's fresh meat i just put in there something like that so they're they're eating right mm -hmm. and they, they're back to eating she, okay. she, she's still nervous but they're back to eating and all of a sudden you hear ding, 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 ding. from inside the freezer it's the boyfriend's phone the phone ring is coming out of the fridge. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like X stuff like this. is calling him now. Why? Because he's suspicious. X is suspicious. So he's calling the boyfriend. Is that the calculating one? Mm -hmm. The quiet? Okay. Yes. So he's like suspecting something's in the fr freezer. You no, think? he's just calling him. Oh. He's wondering where did he go? He doesn't know what's going on. And the Y goes, oh. Did uh, did he leave his cell phone here? I thought you were saying he's uh, opening, taking, get, a taking a phone call. <sighs> he's cheating. And just like that, B stood up and walking towards the kitchen. In two steps, he fell onto the floor and she turned around. Y also passed out on the table. And you saw X took his cigarette out of his pocket, light it up and start burning himself to stay awake. Wait, what? Why? And X, so X goes, when did you put the sleeping pill in our food? And she goes, oh, before you guys came, extra dosage, super strong, the heaviest. Wait, what is happening? 
And before you know it, X start crawling on the floor towards the fridge. And he finally reached the fridge, opened it up, and he saw him, the boyfriend, stuff inside the fridge. And X goes, why? Why did you do this? And she goes, it's self-defense. You know, he abuses me. It was my self-defense. And X goes, you're lying. He told me that you lie every time you twitch your mouth. When you tell a story, that means you're lying. You're lying to me. And she goes, well, I'm sorry. And he passes out too. Now we get a flashback. Wait, so all her friends are sleeping or dead? They're like drugged out. I don't know if they're dead or not, but they're okay. drugged out, okay? Okay. okay. So now it flashes back to before. Okay. So X and the boyfriends are best friends growing up. Always know, like they, they're like besties ever since they were super young, mm -hmm. right? And X knew exactly when the boyfriend met, mm -hmm. uh, met the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. He always tells X their stories, like how their relationship is going. At first, they're like super close, super like, you know, the boyfriend just in love with her. And X knows all about it. And then about six months into it, they're starting to hear some alarming stories. Apparently, she's kind of into faking being abused because she will get sympathy and attention from her friends. But he kind of enjoys it. He thinks this is such a fun game because his personality apparently like to please others. Do you know that kind of personality? Mm. But in a very sick and twisted way. Oh, like not people, that sick. he pleases people and he gets some really creepy joy out oh, of like it. Oh, like a sexual gratification? Not like that sexual, but like really mentally f***ed up, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I'm like so really. Rude. So he posts these stories. It's pe fictional. People saying that, oh, he's abusing you. Oh my gosh. And he kind of, they both laugh at night to sleep about it. So they post pictures after picture after picture after picture after pictures. And eventually they decided the boyfriend went to X and the boyfriend told X, you know what? We're going to play something huge this time. A big game. This one, we're going to pretend that we're going to have a gathering and I'm going to show, show up super late. And as soon as I show up, I'm going to smack her. I'm going to push her onto the ground and it look just super abusive in front of you guys. And it's going to be this whole show and you guys going to be like, oh my God, are you crazy? Why are you hitting her? And then we're just going to laugh about it. The boyfriend saying that she loves this kind of game and she's going to have so much fun. And he kind of smiles. Does I'm that make sense? Yeah, kind of sick so and twisted, right? And X is like, man, that's messed up, but whatever. Yeah. Now, the day comes. Before the event, they were, they were setting oh, up. That was supposed to be this event. Mm -hmm. Instead of him being dead in the freezer, he was supposed to come in and smack her. Yeah. In front of everybody playing yes. Mahjong. Okay. Yes. So before this starts, for some reason, they're making up in the kitchen, okay? They're kissing, <laughs> making out. They're okay. sitting on the counters and doing some nasty. And then she pushed him by accident and there was some knife behind him and he was stabbed to death. I know that part is so stupid, right? Let's overcome that part. Let's, let's overcome this. Let's, let's look over past that, okay? <laughs> okay. The plot is there. Okay? <laughs> the story is there. You tell a lot of stupid stories that doesn't make sense too, okay? Okay. So just like that, he's dead. Okay, okay? dead. Finito, done. It's like how to get away with murder. You okay. trip, you fail, you're dead. Yeah, on a trophy. Bonk. 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 Yeah, like he's out. <laughs> now, as soon as he starts bleeding, she starts freaking out. She's like, oh my god, don't die on me. She's freaking mm -hmm. out, panicking, crying, yelling, don't die, don't die. And for some reason, he knows that he's gonna die because he sees where the knife is and he, he knows he can be saved. And for some reason, he starts to smile. Why? Guess what? We can play a real game this time his sick personality coming in. What we need to do now is help you overcome this. I'm gonna tell you a few things. I need you to listen to me because I don't have much more much time left. Pay attention. We don't even have an hour. Three of them's gonna be here. The first thing you have to do, well, he talks a lot weaker than me, you know, cause like he's the dying. First the, the first thing, you know, anyways. He said, first thing is you have to take care of my body. The only place that fits my body is the fridge, bottom drawer. Nobody's gonna open your freezer. Who the hell opens your freezers, right? Anyways, clean all the blood, take care of the scents, make sure nobody can notice anything. Next thing is don't rush people away. If you rush them away, they're gonna notice something. They're gonna be suspicious. The body's gonna mm -hmm. be found. So don't rush them away. Next thing is Me number three. Notes. Yeah, I'm number kidding. three, okay. finish the hot pot. Try to pretend everything's normal until everybody leaves. And then you reverse my body back into the kitchen floor and then you go what is it confess turn yourself in then you go turn yourself in and just say i abuse you yeah i hurt you yeah. I, I hurt and so abuse you in that home so this is self-defense that you have to do this why couldn't she do it before because she has to fake a lot of evidence after they gone all your stories are evidence and then 
go to my friend who works in the hospital, ask him for a uh, fake report and just say you have injured body parts and fake it, pretend that's the real report. Give me your phone. I'm gonna type some message on my phone. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna kill you on this day, blah, 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 blah. And when I die, later on you Photoshop, change the date to before. And these are can all be evidence mm. to protect you. And he said, don't worry. If you do everything care carefully, you're gonna, you can get, you're gonna be okay. Only thing is be careful of X. He is so smart. He's smarter than me. Just be careful of him. Everything else gonna be okay. You only have a couple hours that you have to push through. And like that, he, <laughs> He just died. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God, He's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. One last thing. He's God, like, this forker's holding on for dear life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, if you feel like you can't cover it any longer, use that. He pointed in the corner of the shelf. Package, and there's a bunch of sleeping pills that he have. All of them. You're gonna be okay. And then he. <laughs> but died. how does she explain skying all of them off? Well, hold on, okay? Hold your titties. Hold on. Okay. Just like that. He's gone. Okay. And the game begins. Final part is X conscious is like, you know, fading away. And he see like, is that, is that, is that her? The girlfriend in the, in his consciousness? Or is that the boyfriend in the consciousness? He, he can see. And he can smell carbon monoxide, just start drugging and stuff. And then he died, basically. So the ending is a little bit open-ended as well. To what exact, what truly happened? Did she kill them? Or did the boyfriend kill them? Did the boyfriend kill them? And he's alive? Is that a game? To kill their friends is their ultimate game? Is that the game? Okay, no. I've got some questions. Okay, yeah. I've got some questions. Tell me your question questions. Question number one. Okay, I'm a student. What would you do if I accidentally killed you, but you were like not dying yet, but you knew based on the evidence, it was an accident, okay? I accidentally killed you. It was the same thing. There was a knife, mm -hmm. and it was just there, and then we were making out, and I, I, like your tongue and everything, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you leaned back, trying to be all sexy, but then the knife impaled you, mm -hmm. and you were dying. And you knew I did not want to kill you at all. Absolutely, a thousand percent, I did not. Mm -hmm. But it happened, mm -hmm. and you knew that the evidence right now, as it is, is going to show that I am guilty for whatever reason. It's just mm. like set up that way. I'll cover for you. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, wouldn't you cover for me? Yeah. Yeah, right? I think everybody will. That's so sweet. Yeah. But turns out it wasn't an accident. <laughs> <laughs> turns out I would never cover for him. What yet. do you think of this story? I think it's just creepy i can't tell who the psychopath is mm. like obviously the way she tells the story i'm like she's got a few screws loose mm. something's weird with her but then i also question the boyfriend because mm -hmm. that's just weird why would he like that let's give a lot of details and why would they play games like that mm -hmm. the boyfriend's actually a cop that was a big detail my ex actually likes her that was a big detail <laughs> <laughs> Detail? Maybe they killed the friends together with X. Maybe they killed X and the friends because they thought it would be fun to kill someone who likes her in their sick, twisted brain. And the friends had to go because maybe people would be less suspicious. Maybe people would think that they all went on vacation or they all ran away together as friends. Whereas one person going missing, one adult going missing, maybe is like, ooh, suspicious, what's going on with X? He's not like this. But then maybe people could speculate that he was dating B, or Y, or Y, both of them. Polyamorous, a throuple, a hmm. throuple. And he ran away because his parents wouldn't want him to be in a throuple. I like this one. I have one question. Uh -huh. I have a very creepy question and okay. I need you to answer it well, okay? okay? So this one's gonna be a short story. I did have a story, but um, as I was wearing this new bra, trying to break it in with my tatties, mm -hmm. um, like I said, it was giving me indigestion. And now I think all the fried chicken's here. And it like won't go past my bra. So I think my boobs are big right now, but I can't breathe. <laughs> Let's say you have one chance to make this right. You die immediately if you don't get it right, okay? You're gonna have a group of 100 regular people come in. 10 of them are gonna be like CIA, 10 of them are gonna be cops, and the rest of them are just random other professions, whether it be doctors, lawyers, school teachers, mukbangers, doesn't matter. There's gonna be 100 people that walk in. Mm -hmm. You don't really get to say anything to them, you don't get to see them, you don't get to talk to them, mm. but 
but when they walk into your house, there's got to be one thing in your house on your entryway. It has to be completely legal. It can't be like a dead body. That's illegal to have there. You know, anything illegal. You can't have like a meth lab on your entry table. It has to be a completely legal object. Mm-hmm. One object or like a collection of the same thing. So you could say, you know, a collection of weed plants. That's not legal. <laughs> the fuck am I saying? What the I don't hell? have weed plants. There's a collection of things. Like it has to all be the same thing. Like you can say like, I'll have one fork or you can say like forks. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Forks. And that one thing has to make more, the majority of these people terrified of you. Like they... Th- the person who has let them into your house is going to ask them on their way out. They only get to like walk into your entryway and then they see your entry table and everything and then they walk out, right? Mm-hmm. And they're going to ask, are you scared of this homeowner? And most of them have to say yes or otherwise that person is going to come in and kill you. What would you put? I'll put you there. I'm serious. I'm not legal. legal? What's, this what is that? cannot be legal right now. Anyways. What do you mean legal? <laughs> like I can't put like a lion. I mean, actually, is there a, like a right answer to this? No, it's just like how creepy can you be? It's like the same question as like if you stole one thing from someone's house uh, to drive them crazy. I see. I like what it. What would it be? But this is like a now you have to make people scared right when they walk into your house, and it has to be legal. It can't be illegal because, like I said, there's gonna be some cops in here, some CIA in here. You can't um, get arrested. Okay, so I just can't be in trouble. Yeah. For putting the stuff mm-hmm. in, and it has to be real things. I can't say I put like. 10 of me in the front. No. Okay. You can't be like, I put f***ing Hagrid up there. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't f***ing do that shit, okay? okay. <laughs> what would you put? Legal, huh? Yeah, I'm trying to think too. Legal and scary. Mm-hmm. That's a really good question. Like, just like an unsettling feeling. Okay. Please leave it in the comments. Did you see the show on TV? Um, Red no. or something? You came up with yeah. that? You came up with yeah. this? Yeah. Original? Because I was like so caught up. I was reading so oh, many comments. Oh, you want to scare people? I was reading so many comments about the what people would steal mm. from other people's house. And then I was like, what if I wanted to scare people the minute that they went into my house? Mm. Like, what's scary? And I was like, you know, obviously, like, weapons are cool and scary, but they're not going to, like, no one's going to leave terrified when they see just, like, weapons. We can't hang, like, a fake head. No. I mean, I guess you can. Like decapitated head, just kind of hang in front of the house, like the hallway, mm-hmm. with the arrow pointing up, say you will be next. What do you think? Come on, give us something. Man, but mine is not. Mine's a. I don't think mine fits the rules. I just thought of this. You know how like people have signs on like the entry table that's like friends and family or mm-hmm. like my loved ones. Mm-hmm. Like, what if I had a sign like that, mm-hmm. and under it was just a collection of missing posters. But then they could also think that I'm an advocate for missing people. Mm-hmm. A baby coffin. I mean, it is Halloween, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. What about a little like? <laughs> a little like. <laughs> I'm like, I would put this right there. <laughs> I would put right that one right there. In the front, they'll be scared. Yeah. <laughs> and I go, boo. <laughs> <laughs> boo, bitch. Um, I put a f-ing mirror. In the front. God damn. Got that him. was scary. <laughs> you know this mirror that makes people look funny? Oh, the funhouse mirror? You know how like the camera feed, you have a camera feed of uh-huh. TV of cameras? Uh-huh. And inside of it, uh-huh. you can just see creepy rooms mm. with like chains hanging on the walls. But no one's chained up. I'm not holding anyone captive. That's not, mm. that's illegal. But just a weird sense of decor is perfectly legal. Like mm. torture rooms, but no one's being tortured. Oh, or I put a fake mirror. It looks like a mirror. <gasps> Nobody can see their reflection. Yeah, or they can see their reflection, and there's some other people in there. I like that. A haunted house. I was gonna say like your mama. Put uh, your mama in the front. Honey, <laughs> no? she is a lovable Korean Ajuma. Excuse oh. you. Oh, not just your mama. It's everybody else's mama. Uh. Insert your own mama. <laughs> Insert your own. This is just a blank canvas, guys. Yeah. Bring your mom with you when you come over. Yeah. I was thinking about getting a big dog, but then these days, everyone's like, what a cute dog. And I'm just like, this is a very scary dog. Be scared of my dog. I'm talking about Mango. The rest, the big ones, they're all nice. <laughs> but Mango, you need to be scared of Mango. <laughs> all right, well, that's gonna be it for today's video. 
I can't wait to take off my bra. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts. I know I didn't finish the food. I'm gonna eat leftovers, okay? Not a big deal. I'm gonna whip this baby off, drink a soda for a digestion, and then finish up my chicken. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's story. Let me know in the comments what would you guys put in your house to creep people out. I mean, they don't have to go running from your house screaming, shitting themselves, peeing on your front lawn. They just have to feel uneasy like they just don't like you they don't know what it is they've never met you they don't even know whose house this is but they don't want to go near your house type of vibe but it has to be legal you can't put dead bodies up there okay so hmm. let me know in the comp unless you're a morgue unless you're a morgue what? and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye <laughs>